Hey everybody, welcome back to One Minute Walking Tours. I am your host, Jonathan. Today we are here to pay our respects to the youngest man ever elected mayor to, uh, to New York City, a man named John Mitchell. You can see his memorial uh, behind me. This is a guild memorial, gold with Italian marble, and it is right here on the stairwell to the New York City Reservoir. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie Marathon Man, that track that Dustin Hoffman is running around, it's right up here behind me. And we are perpendicular to East 90th Street, so just as you're coming in, you will see this memorial. And the reason it's here, rather than down near City Hall or other some of the more appropriate places for a city mayor, is because... I'll get there, but part of it is uh, because uh, John Mitchell oversaw the opening of the water tunnels from further upstate down to New York City and into this, this reservoir, and they thought maybe that was more appropriate. Uh, one of the reasons they don't put John Mitchell down near the halls of power is he was frightfully unpopular. Now, he ran, as many young men do, on the ideas of progress and anti-corruption, and people praised him, but he was quite the outspoken bigot. Uh, he did not believe that the Irish, German, and Jewish... This helicopter's killing me. This is my fifth take. <laughs> but it won't go away! He did not believe that the Irish, German, and Jewish population of New York City was particularly patriotic. But if you know anything about the population of New York City, the Jewish, the Irish, and the Germans make up a pretty big section of the population of New York City. So uh, by 1917, when his, his administration is up, he can't even get the votes uh, for the nomination for his own party. So he's out. Uh, so fortunately for John Mitchell, uh, there was a world war on and he can pretend he's going to go off and fight. Uh, now, it's American tradition to be late for every world war. So that means politicians will probably not see the front lines. So he joins the Army Air Corps and he's learning to fly in France when, on July 6, 1918, the youngest man ever elected mayor, uh, Will, will perish. Now in, in 19, oh, pardon me, 1879, John Mitchell's mode of death could not even possibly be imagined. He falls to death from an airplane. So there's really only one thing that could have gone wrong. Uh, the safety belt he was wearing malfunctioned or wasn't on properly, and he goes falling to his death over France. So uh, New York City, feeling kind of guilty, I guess, puts on quite a lavish funeral for him. And Theodore Roosevelt, the ailing uh, politician uh, and grieving father, whose son Quentin Roosevelt is actually shot down as a fighter pilot, an actual fighter pilot, during the Great War. He will attend John Mitchell's funeral, uh, and he himself, Theodore Roosevelt, will die six months later. Uh, they have a big funeral, they pretend everybody likes him, they put his memorial here, and everyone does their best to forget about it. Uh, so he does make history on two points as mayor of New York, youngest at 34 and by far the strangest death. No other mayor or governor of New York, uh, for that matter, has ever died by falling from an airplane. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour and we'll see you here soon on One Minute Walking Tours.